Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 5 to improve your FPS. What are the best settings to fix all kind of lags, stutter and input latency and also improve your PC's performance. So make sure to stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. All right, step number one is the essential Windows settings. And for that, head over to settings on your PC and over here, go down to gaming. Over here, head over to game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar turned off will help you to improve your PC's performance drastically, reduce your CPU and RAM usage and improve your PC's performance. After that, go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. It will help you to optimize your PC by turning things off in the background, allowing you to improve the performance of your PC. Right behind that, head over to graphic settings and then click on change the default graphic settings over here. Disable variable refresh rate and enable optimizations for windowed games as this will help you to reduce your latency and improve the performance of your computer drastically. Go back to graphics and over here click on the browse button over here and then go to the download location of your game. You need to add your Fortnite Win64 Shipping.exe from the download location, then head over to Options, select High Performance, and then click on Save. This will utilize your GPU to run the game, and once that is done, simply close the settings. Step number two is compatibility settings, and for that, head over to the download location for your game. And for that, open up Epic Games Launcher. You need to click on the three dots right over here in front of Fortnite, and then head over to Manage. Then click on this open installation location folder over here and then head over to Fortnite game, binaries, win64 and then over here you'll find in Fortnite client win64 shipping.exe. Right click on that, head over to properties and then go over to compatibility. In this, you need to disable full screen optimizations, click on change high DPI settings and then select override high DPI scaling behavior. After that, click on OK and then click on OK over here simply close it. Next step is the best launch option for this game and over here you have to enable launch options and then you have to type in hyphen LAN play space hyphen no splash space hyphen use all available cores. You guys can find this on my website as well from where you guys can download the FPS packs. Simply copy this and paste it over here. Okay, before moving ahead, I want to tell you guys about Ezus Voice Wave, which is a super amazing voice changer powered with AI, offering over 300 voices and a completely customizable environment, which you can download from the link in the description below. You can not only use it real time, but you can also use it to change voices in pre recorded audios and videos. And here is how my voice sounds like in this application. And it is super amazing. So go check out Isis Voice Wave from the link in the description below. Next step is creating a restore point. And for that, simply search for create a restore point on your PC. And over here, look for a local disk C. Click on create and name it Fortnite so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is the Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 5 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can skip the ads on the website and download it safely. Over here, you'll find in seven simple folders. First one is the CPU priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. Once again, if you have an AMD CPU, you can double click and run the AMD CPU priority. And if you have an Intel CPU, you can double click and run the Intel CPU priority. This will help you to improve the performance of your CPU and overall throughput. Second folder is the RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of optimizations for your RAM. You guys have to select the one for your RAM particularly. I have 32 GB RAM installed on my PC, so I need to use 32 GB RAM registry. It could be different for you, so you guys can choose it according to that. And if that doesn't work out well for you guys, you can always reset it back to default over here. Third folder is the most important one, which is Fortnite priority in which I have left above normal and high priority as well as normal priority. Once again, I want you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which one to choose from over here. Once again, if that doesn't work out, you can always go with normal priority to re reset it back to default. Fourth folder is disabling unwanted services and over here I have left some services that are completely useless for your PC and disabling them will help you to improve the performance. If you guys use any Bluetooth service or printer services, leave them as it is and I want you guys to disable every single one of them other than that. And if you guys want to re-enable any of them, you can use this folder to enable 
sell them back if that causes any issues. Fifth one is the batch tweaks in which I have left BCD tweaks, disable memory compression, process mitigation, and improve your latency tweaks. All of them will run a few commands on your PC which are completely automatic and you do not have to do that manually. These commands will help you to optimize the input latency, reduce the input time of your keyboard and mouse, improve the buffer, disable memory compression, and overall increase the performance of your PC. I would recommend you guys to run every single one of them as administrator. I have already done it, so I'll not do it again. Sixth one is power plan settings and over here, I want you guys to run the first one as administrator over here. I have already done it. And after that, click on power plans over here and then select ultimate performance that should be added in this list right after you run it as administrator. This power plan will help you to optimize the power flow of your computer and allow your hardware to disable power saving features and use the power supply optimally and ensure every hardware is running on the maximum throttle. After that, last one is the programs folder in which I have left some useful programs. First one is clean temporary files.bat. You have to right click and run this as administrator. This will ask you to press any key to continue and you guys can simply press that and this will start deleting all temporary files from your PC. Don't worry, it's completely safe to do. These are temporary files created by the applications running in the background and they are not really required. Next is quickcpu.msi. You want to right click and run this as administrator. I have already installed it on my PC so I have to open it up quick CPU. Once this software opens up in front of you, you have to click on the maximum performance over here and then select accept, then click on OK and make sure that all of these sliders are set to 100%. After that, click on apply and now you guys are using optimal performance. You have disabled power throttling, improve your frequency scaling, enable turbo boost and improve the overall performance of your PC. After that, simply close it and you guys are done with the FPS pack. Next step is deanimating windows and it is super essential. Simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows. And once this open up, you have to click on adjust for best performance. Then click on save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, smooth edges of screen fonts, as well as show window contents while dragging. These four options will keep the minimal look of your windows intact while disabling all unnecessary animations, which consumes the processor in the background. Next step is right under the advanced tab over here which is processor scheduling click on programs and then set up virtual memory click on the change button over here and deselect automatically manage paging file size for all drives then for the custom size set this thing to 1361 as it is the most optimal value that i have found and for the maximum size you have to open up your calculator now you have to multiply your ram with 1024 i have 32 gb ram so i'll multiply it 1024 and this will give me my ram in megabytes since i want it in megabytes over here divide this value by 2 and a new value that you get is to be pasted in maximum size without the commas and then click on set click on ok and this is how you optimally set your virtual memory for gaming click on the ok button over here and once that is done you're good to go now open up your game for the best in game settings next step is fixing all of your ping packet loss, latency issues using no ping. It's a free to use tool that you guys can download from the link in the description below over here. Once you open it up, it should look like this and over here it offers you over 1000 games to choose from. Simply look up for Fortnite over here and then click on select the server. After that, scroll down and find the nearest region to you with the lowest amount of ping. For me, it will be Dubai 01, so I'll click on optimize this game and this will one click optimize my game right away. The best part about no ping is the settings gear over here which offers you turbo games when you enable it it will help you to reduce your input latency from your keyboard and a dedicated fps boost section over here where if you enable all of these settings it will help you to improve your fps as well i would say that no ping is an all-in-one pack for all of you guys those you want to reduce your input latency optimize your ping packet loss and improve your fps as well i personally use it myself and i have seen drastic improvement and i would recommend you guys to go check out no ping from the link in the description below okay once you're in game press your escape key and then head over to settings over here for the window mode make sure to go for full screen and your native resolution vsync should be turned off and frame rate limit should be set to unlimited rendering mode i would prefer you guys if you have a medium end computer go with directx 12 but if you have a super low end pc go with performance lower graphical fidelity then over here in the graphics quality for the auto set quality do not auto set it quality preset should be set to custom anti-aliasing and super resolution go with TSR high or you guys can go with TSR medium both of them will help you to gain extra performance temporal super resolution should be set to custom 3d resolution should be set to 50% or you guys can go up to 65% does not really matter much right beneath that you'll find nanite virtualized geometry turn this thing off shadows off global illumination and reflections 
distance off and view distance i have set this into epic but you guys can go with far once that is done click on apply and head over to the sound settings over here and then scroll down until you find sound quality go with low because high will decrease the performance of your game once that is done go back and now you guys can enjoy your game with the best fps possible so that was it for this video guys i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button we have also launched channel membership so if you guys are not a channel member yet consider getting it to show your love and support we'll see you guys in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out